Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. Uh, we're going to be doing scripting again and we're going to talk a little bit about some math operators. So let's go ahead and go into the scripting tab and make this a little bit bigger. We're going to be mainly working in here. So there's a lot of math operators that we can do. Many of us, much of us, if not most of us, all of us, should have at least some algebra background of some sort. You should at least know like 5 plus 5. What's unique about Python is we can just punch that in and boom, it will actually tell us the answer. It's really cool. It's really smart and knows how to do these things, these kind of things. We can actually do 5 times 5, which is 25. So my question is a little bit of like, why would this be important? Well, for instance, if we have created this cube, uh, like we have in previous tutorials, uh, for instance, actually, let's do it. Let's let's make that cube. Let's go Shift A, Add Mesh Cube, and pull this in. Make a new script and paste it in there. I'm not going to delete this cube, so we can see it a little bit easier. Um, I'm also going to copy the delete. Oops. Space it down, put the delete there. And I'm also going to want a select all. If you don't know what I'm doing, I am selecting everything that's in my scene, I'm deleting it, and then I'm adding a cube. If I didn't select all and delete it, I would every time I run the script I would have another cube added into my scene which could be kind of disastrous I could have like thousands of cubes and not want any of them so and I'm selecting all and deleting them the consequence of that is we're also going to lose our light and our lamp but you know no oh, it's okay so and our next thing is we need to import BPY now if we run this boom we have our cube it works just fine uh, the thing that we need to know is like five five 5 plus 5, if we punch it in here, it works, it runs, and it executes it. So, but it doesn't do anything with it. It's just 5 plus 5. Okay, cool, that's 10, but I don't know what to do with it. That's what Python's saying. That's what Blender's thinking. It's like, okay, you gave me 10, but I, what do I do with 10? Well, we can just say, like, variable name is equal to 5 plus 5 and now we're telling Blender and Python both we're telling Python and Python is telling Blender that 5 plus 5 whatever the result of that is which we know it is 10 set that equal to variable name cool so now it's a little bit more useful so now I'm telling you Python variable name is 10 Python's now telling Blender variable name is 10 okay cool so now why is that useful we run it, it's the same same result. Yeah, it is. You're right. Uh, we can now just put this in as variable name. Now what we're doing is we're setting the size the variable name. It's now 10. But the cool thing about this, just as we have done in other tutorials, is whatever we change this to, uh, it changes this. But we can also do 5 times 5. And that simple math operator that we can do, that we've known our entire life, is able to change a lot of our scene at once. We could have three, we could have four of these cubes, each arranged five units from each other, going down this axis. So if we run it, oh, actually they're going up. Uh, that's okay. They can go up. Let's now just change this to 1. Just to make it a little bit easier to see. So now each one of these is going up by 5. Actually, let's make another variable name. Let's just name it height. It's equal to uh, 1. Now let's just do height times 1 which is actually just height, and you can leave that. I'm just doing this for uh, 
demonstration purposes. So now we have height times two. I'm just going to copy and paste this and change these. So now each one of these is going to be incremented by one. So it's going to be it's going to be multiplied by a higher number each time it goes down. So now we can run the script and we can see that this one is at the height of one because one times one is one. This one is the height of two because it's one times two is two. This one's one times three is three. One times four is four. Boom. Now it's cool. Let's just change this to two. It dynamically changes all of them. This is really a cool part of scripting. Uh, this is when you start actually imagining things that you can do with scripting because before this it almost seems pointless of all these different things that we're doing. Uh, we can name, we can change this now to two and boom it changes all of them. Uh, this is really cool. We can also change, you can change any of these things. I'm not going to go through all of them because we can spend all day changing every single thing. But I think this is going to give you enough knowledge that you can run with it now. I hope that you've learned something and I really hope that you'll do something with it to further learning. As I'm not going to teach you everything, I'm just going to teach you the things that uh, make it possible for you to take a next step forward with scripting or with Blender in general. And I hope you've loved this tutorial and uh, visit again. Thanks.